Hi there, Java 12 just got released and it's time to find out what's new and more importantly, what's useful. So let's check it out. All right, so before you start writing any Java 12 code, you'll have to make sure to update your IDE to the latest version. In my case, that's IntelliJ IDEA and the latest version is 2019, the beta. And uh, that's because 2018 doesn't support the latest Java 12 features. And the beta, by the way, is still a bit buggy, which you'll see later on in this video. Now, there's just a couple of features in Java 12, a couple of new features. And the first set of new features has to do with new string methods. And uh, let me demonstrate that to you. I prepared a small project, a new method. Imagine you want, uh, you have a string typewriter and you want to emulate a typewriter for whatever reason. You can now call indent on any string. And when you run that program, you will see typewriter being printed out of the console with 50 spaces in front of it, which is quite exciting, isn't it? A more exciting feature has to do again with strings. Imagine you have another string called Prince Charles. Again, doesn't make too much sense, but just for demonstration reasons. And um, imagine you want to, first of all, you have a lowercase p here and you want to turn it to an uppercase p. So you might want to call a library function called string utils capitalize, which will turn the p to an uppercase p. And again, imagine it's a bit contrived. You want to abbreviate the string after uppercasing it and you want to limit it to 10 characters max. So let's run that program again. Now on the console, you'll see prints, uppercase p, and three dots, which is fine. Now let's start with um, the string prints Charles again, because now in Java 12, you have a new method called transform. Transform takes a function, just like a lambda. So you have uh, transform the string, please. And now just capitalize the string for me. And obviously you can also put a method reference in here. So you can do it like that. Then call transform again. And this time you're, you're gonna say string utils abbreviate string 10 like so. Actually, let me put that to a variable, print it out, run the program, and you should see prints transformed. And in my mind, it's a bit easier to read, a bit easier on the eyes to read these nested or these chain transform calls instead of the nested method calls you had to do previously. All right, enough about strings because the main new feature in Java 12 is improved switch statements, which you might have read about online already. And I have a small method called weight increase, which takes the fast food enum. The fast food enum itself has your three typical choices, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, at least in Germany. And uh, what the method does is it switches through the fast foods and tells you per meal how much your weight increased after the meal in kilograms. So you've got a weight increase of five for McDonald's, a weight increase of two for Burger King, a weight increase of one for KFC. And the default clause, stop feeding me a legal state exception, which doesn't work or which is never going to be called because we're catching all three cases here. But in any case, what did Java 12 do? In Java 8, or up till Java 12 actually, you had to make sure to break from your case expressions. Otherwise, you'll just fall through and trigger the next one. And uh, in Java 12, you can write this here, up here, instead of a colon with an arrow and then delete the break line in here, like so. The same for Burger King. Let me just copy that, like so. Again, delete break. Same for KFC, delete break. And the default clause again, just like so. Now, as you can see, you can put a block in here just with a lambda, but you can also remove the block. So it gets a bit even simpler to read. You just say, well, McDonald's increase five. Right, so that's a bit nicer to read. Now you still have to define a variable up here, the increase, and then you set it here and then re return it. Wouldn't it be nicer if the switch statement itself could just return you the values, and now in Java 12, it can. So you can actually do 
this here. So um, you say the increase, right, is 5, is 2, is 1, just like that. And then make sure to put the semicolon here. Right, so that also works. Now, even better, you can inline the variable, and this is where hopefully a small bug is going to pop up. Now, this time it works. I tried that before, actually, and sometimes inlining the variable will lead to bugs in IntelliJ, which is quite weird. But as you can see now, this time it worked. You get a return switch fast food, which is a lot nicer to read than what we had before with the case with the break statement and whatnot. So just put an arrow here and you're pretty much free to go. All right, to sum things up, there's just a couple of new methods on strings. There's a new switch statement slash expression. And other than that, you won't find too many new exciting features in Java 12. So just download it, install it, play with it yourself, get right after it.